I've always loved to read the promises of the Lord, and now I sit back and I am like we are to be comparing, but a year ago, as these words were said to me, my hands were folded and I'm saying the Lord will provide. Yes, the Lord has provided. The Word says He's provided, but we have to get up and do it. Um, it is we're in end times and you say we're supposed to prepare the Lord for a, for a reason my heart is saying we have to prepare the Lord didn't tell us all these things so that we can sit back and say our Lord will provide the Lord in Mark Jesus said but take heed see I have told you all these things beforehand for a reason okay? he didn't say that here. John 16 1 4 one, these things I have spoken to you that you should not be made to stumble. I want to go into a little bit of um, what I mean by prepare. And so that's it. I want to come back to this verse right here. These things I have spoken to you that you should not be made to stumble. Because when things get hard, when we start going in bad times, it will be very easy to stumble. If we don't have our eyes focused on Jesus, and it's hard to focus our eyes on Jesus when we have a child sitting next to us who needs food, or even our own belly grumbling, or a niece or a nephew, or a friend, a friend child, or the neighbors come knocking at your door saying, we need food. If our eyes are focused on the worldly things that the Lord said he would prepare for, we are very apt to stumble. It would, it would be a very easy thing to do. Okay. We're gonna I want everybody to turn here to 2 Peter 3. All to come to repentance. All to come to him. 
So God is not willing that any should be lost, but that all should come to repentance. Okay. And then um, as we read in verse 14 that uh, that we should be found in Him in peace, without spot or blameless. And how do we do that? Yes, how do we do that? Through the grace of God mm -hmm. and the blood of Jesus Christ. Okay. So as we stay closer to Christ, He will draw us closer to Himself. And then we will become like Christ because by beholding we become changed. As we behold Christ, we will change he will us change us. into His image and likeness. As we were created originally. Okay. So we will become like Jesus. Um, and are you looking forward to that time? Yes. Are you looking forward to Jesus' return? Yes. Okay. I don't know. Because you've got a lot of information here, and then you may stand there and say, well, how do we prepare? What do we even know what we're looking for? How do we know what, to, what we're going to deal with? Um, I'm just going to give you an easy scenario. Because we can go into like Katrina, or we could go into um, China, and their earthquake, and that was a little small place, the earthquake happened. This is going to be worldwide. This is going to be from God because God is going to let you know. He is going to let this world know. He is in control. He is the creator and he wants your heart. You only have two choices at any time. You're going to choose Satan or you're going to choose God. But God makes a promise to both. Both choices. He promises eternal life or eternal damnation. So here's our scenario that we're going to do because we're going to keep it at a simple side. Take the electricity. This world, not the United States, this world is run on electricity. We've all been one day, one week without electricity. How about if the electric were to go off for eternity? How about if something happened, electromagnetic bombing off, and it affected the electricity? And we would never have electricity. Okay, everybody in here is going, I have gas. Right? I have heat. No, you won't. It takes electricity to pump gas. You won't have gas in your vehicles. It takes electricity to bring gas out of the ground to put into your vehicles. Stores will close. Stores may be open only on the Sabbath because we can only generate the generators for one day. We need to understand these things. There will be floods. There will be fires. There needs to be understanding of it. If you would just sit down and take a half an hour or more, whatever the Lord puts on your heart, bow your head in prayer. Look at your house and say, without electricity, what will be gone? And when that's gone, what will I do? Because in, when we're going through the tribulation, we want our eyes on God. God wants us prepared. He told us this is going to happen. And he said, but take heed, see, I've told you all these things before him. And he also said, these things I have spoken to you that you should not be made to stumble. And you won't stumble if you're prepared. The walk we're taking today is going to teach you different foods you can eat. It's also going to, it's only an introduction. Don't think you're going to walk home and say, okay, I've got a big salad bowl out back, Melissa. <laughs> and then I can eat all, all I want because you can't. You know what? Adam and Eve sinned. And through sin came poison. We have poison leaves out there, and we have edible leaves. We have medicinal leaves. We have leaves that are medicinal only on the outside, not the inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to learn some of that tonight. Yes, we are. So, and everybody is invited. Everybody. And, um, and we will look forward to that time. Okay. okay. Uh, we will close with hand number 330. Okay. So, uh, I Jesus. Yeah, 330. I know. It's so Give it a word. Thank you.